All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chen, and I completely forgot to do a video today. Uh, it's 5:24 p.m. Eastern. Uh, now that I'm trading the stock markets pretty much full time now, because I really enjoy the job. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so I mean, I don't want to discontinue this series because I figure I should put something out at least every week, right? Uh, but anyway. Uh, let's just see what happens. I want to keep today's video very short. So Bitcoin interest by the normies is still pretty crappy at 38, it, but there has, but uh, this week's data has not been released yet. So, so this is a pretty good sign. The normies are not in. Uh, crypto continues to kind of flatline a little bit, but Bitcoin is trying to break through. So hopefully by next week it's at 30 under 36 gram. Maybe Bitcoin will be 50, 60 grand, 40. I'll even take 45,000. Just anything that breaches 43K. Because uh, this thing has been suppressed so much. And I've also swapped from Litecoin to Cardano. All right, because I recently did a video with Josh and Jason from the Red Pill Project. So they were very gracious enough to invite me. I, I, I mean, I had no idea they would even do that. So he told me about Cardano and VeChain. But VeChain apparently is very hard for me to get. And I don't want to go through signing up through Binance or whatever. So I just get Cardano. It's basically XRP, but without any of the baggage and none of the centralization and global peanut stuff. So, you know, I can buy Cardano with a clean conscience. And look, the performance on this is just superior to XRP. All right. Time and again. So Cardano is the way to go for me. Um, markets are doing great. Crude oil went up a lot, so of course markets go up. The 10-year yield also going up. Because now that I've been listening to my stock guy on YouTube, now it's actually making a lot more sense. 10-year yield goes up like normal, all right? Cash is leaving the debt market, which is what the 10-year bond, treasury bond market is. And it's going into the stock market, and look, oh, everything goes up. Uh, so far, things are going pretty well. Um, stock picks actually went up. However, the options I bought it all went down. I don't know why, because it's only been an extra day. But right now, there's a lot of market manipulation. Uh, GameStop and Silver are all both being hammered by manipulation and scams. Right? BlackRock Citadel, Vanguard. Yes, the Vanguard Index Fund. And uh, I wrote... Did I also mention Citadel? BlackRock and Citadel. So basically, they're all it's just a bunch of... Greedy, evil tribe hedge funds versus other tribe, quote unquote, uh, hedge funds. And they're battling it out. And uh, the little people, little guy getting squished. So I did wind up uh, buying a hype yesterday about GameStop. Uh, and I sold it today at 140 before this shit show went down. So I think I lost like 600 bucks out of $1,300, which is fine by me because a lot of people are about to lose everything. So... I got out all right, and I'll make back the money. But uh, yeah, it's just that there's just so much scamming. But in my case, my QQQ calls should be improving any any day now because the Nasdaq went up a ton. Uh, so you know, it's just a matter of waiting on this thing to go up. However, we've had two days in a row of markets going up and down. I mean, markets going straight up a lot. So yesterday and today. So I'm expecting tomorrow Wednesday to be down. But again, things are looking very strong, so we'll just see. Um, yeah, we'll just see. Let's see. Uh, so silver for the short term, I think if the manipulation continues, it'll probably tank all the way to $21, and people are going to just absolutely lose it. Uh, it's going to absolutely lose it. Um, so I don't know, but I mean, I guess I could show this. But yeah, the stock guy recommends this open source Screen, stock screener by trading view it's all free and slv is still considered a buy so all right you know i'll go with it and um yeah we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes but uh yeah i would not put i would never first of all never go all in if you have to go all in it would definitely be cryptocurrency and that's decentralized cryptocurrency because that's the coin that is most resistant to corruption at least for now it's the most resistant that's why you're not going to lose everything. But people in GameStop or people doing one or two day options on silver, SLV, yeah, that thing is completely manipulated and rigged. Of course you're going to lose all your effing money. Right? That's what's happening here. 
right? Even even a even a veteran trader investor like myself still falls for this dumb shit from time to time, right? But I kind of but I'm also experienced, so I know not to put all my eggs in one basket. And thank God I don't. <laughs> all right? So Anyway, I just want to do a short video. Um, no ops updates. I mean, there's our, there's the coup in my, Myanmar. And I've noticed more people are starting to troll my Twitter account for some reason again. So, yeah, Trump's still in the game. So, in the meantime, I'm keeping my head low. I'm just going to keep making money off of the markets and just enjoying the show. I still keep reporting what I can. And then, uh, well, let's just hope SLV goes up because I do have a pretty substantial position in SLV, right? I know it's going to eventually go back up, but it's just a matter of riding out the short-term manipulation. So, because again, I don't know. I'm just going to let the JP Morgan and... Oh, yeah, that's another company I forgot to mention. JP Morgan is very bearish on SLV because they're a custodian of silver. So, it's just it's just bad, evil, rich people versus other bad, evil, rich people b battling it out. It's a very tribe, Middle Eastern country tribe that I cannot name or hint at thing. So, you know, th those idiots will battle it out, and, um, you know, I got my call options that expire on June 30th, so, you know, whatever. Whatever. But, yeah, uh, if all else fails, well, my QQQ calls will be worth, like, a million dollars, so, whatever. All right, see you all next Tuesday. Hopefully, I'll be on time this time, and, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Go to my live streams here, trovo.live forward slash real Johnson Chan because that's the only place where you're actually going to get the real stuff from me. Okay, that's where you're going to get the real stuff. Also, my follower count increased. No, I'm still stuck at 394. Well, I guess I'll have to be stuck on this for a little while. All right, see you all next week. Uh, stop recording. Oh, we need a thumbnail, don't we? Man, it's kind of fun. We don't even need this anymore. I actually kind of like it because that means I just have to do less work. Uh, corporate buy-ins, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is a very nice, God, I, Cointelegraph has such good art, uh, artistry. All right, there we go.